direct your attention to the video game. As we begin today's Ring of Honor induction ceremony for the late Cardinals owner, William V. Bidwell. Very near to me and the entire part of the Bill Bill, known to most as Mr. B. Mr. B lived every day with three beacons as his role model. He was a man of faith, a devout Catholic, who never missed something nice. He was generous to the church with both his time and his money. Family was his foundation and his inspiration. Married to wife Nancy for 56 years, raising five children and blessed with 10 beautiful grandchildren. For Cardinal football, was Bill Bill was passion. For 88 years, he was a witness to his history and had an equally large role in making that history. He was the happiest I've ever seen. He was so proud of his team and that twinkle in his eye, I'll never forget. He was a lifelong friend. He was taking that every morning. He went to the practices. And one of my favorite pictures is the picture of he and Wilson together, just shooting the ball. That's probably my all-time favorite picture. A-Dub and my dad sitting on the bench, just hanging out, just hanging out. Cardinals history. My dad was part of it. He did laundry. He was a ball boy. He sold tickets. After he finished his service in the U.S. Navy, he joined the football team and uh, started to work as an executive. My dad was truly a part of the NFL history. Um, and I could see it with my own two eyes. That era, when you think about post merger, my father was a part of every single decision. During his more than five decades in the National Football League, Bill Bidwell was part of an essential group of owners who provided leadership during a pivotal time in the league's history. The league would not be as strong today without Bill Bidwell's role in those decisions and the vision that it took to make them. His focus was always on working together for the good of the game. Bill Bidwell was a leader in embracing the person and recognized talent was not found by race, gender, or age. He knew that because he saw his mother serve as the first female owner of a sports team. Whether it was the hiring of the first female African-American executive, the first African-American contract negotiator, or the first African-American head coach GM Kent, this is a huge part of his legacy. I know you make a good appreciates the history of football and the people that played in it. He's probably one of the most loyal guys I've ever known. From a very young age, I learned that my dad really didn't brag or talk about or advertise the fact that he was very charitable. Many great causes he was part of. One of the first things my dad did when he got here was he started Boys Hope Girls Hope in Arizona. Uh, the Jesuit priests here in Murphy, and that is still going strong today. He did a lot for Sister Martha and for the St. Peter Indian Mission School. But one day we all picked up the Arizona Republic, and she had told the Arizona Republic about everything he did, and they wrote a very glowing column about him. And so for about the next year or two, he referred to Sister Martha as Sister Blabbermouth. The vision of us being in Phoenix, he thought, was spectacular. Technically, it was a family decision, but part of it was as a pitch. Actually, most of it was as a pitch. Just so proud uh, to see that legacy that creates a culture of respect and an honor of the past and a vision toward the future. And the team would be here today without my father. And I think about how much he loved this community and how much he adopted it. This was his, his home, and he knew that generations of us would be here and the team would be here forever. I don't ever forget him saying, don't ever look back. And 
we have it, and we're so glad that we are here. Hey, come on, man. I know Mr. B is looking down at us right now, wondering, what's all the fuss about? Nevertheless, he had a deep appreciation for the game of football, and in particular, for the history of his beloved team. So it's only fitting we return that appreciation for the man that brought his kind and generous heart, along with the Cardinals, to the great state of Arizona. Thank you for making this so special for us all. Let's go Cardinals! 